Here are the differences I noticed between the 1986 book and the 2023 graphic novel of Sweet Valley Twins, Teacher's Pet. The graphic novel has a dedication from Francine Pascal. The graphic novel starts with the twins on their way to practice. The book starts with them at home, about 15 minutes before they have to leave for practice. The twins bike to ballet practice instead of taking the bus. In the book, Jessica and Elizabeth have set up a ballet practice area in their basement. All the scenes that take place there are moved to a different part of the house. Elizabeth mentions Johnny Buck's CDs twice in this book. The internet says it's early foreshadowing for book five. Jessica complains less about wanting to ditch ballet practice for the beach, while Elizabeth puts more effort into convincing Jessica to go to class. Elizabeth does a program for the ballet recital. Not in the book, though. I assume this was added to make her more of a teacher's pet. The number of students in class goes from 15 to 11. Multiple times, Madame Andre mentions scheduling errors and her work overload. I assume this was added to justify why Madame Andre overlooks Jessica. She's not a bad teacher. She just messed up because she's overworked. Jessica smashes a soda can instead of slamming the door. Jessica trips over slippers by the stairs. In the book, she trips over Stephen in the den. Jessica references a ballet class from the previous book. Without going into detail, the book retells that entire scene. Jessica does a mean impersonation of Madame Andre when she's complaining. Jessica is more sympathetic when she talks to the Unicorn Club about ballet. There's more of them pressuring her and less of her bragging. Elizabeth talks to Amy in the cafeteria. In the book, they talk in the newspaper office. The graphic novel removes the scene of Elizabeth and Amy at their lockers for ten minutes, waiting for Jessica to show up. Unsurprisingly, the graphic novel does not include Elizabeth playing a record to help Amy practice. Jessica gets a text from Elizabeth and is about to leave the Unicorn Club meeting when she's distracted by party talk. In the book, Jessica purposely stays at the meeting because she wants to talk about the party, and she is disappointed when they spend an hour talking about other things. Elizabeth didn't know she scheduled Amy's practice at the same time as a Unicorn Club meeting. In the book, she asks how she was supposed to remember when the unicorn meeting was, indicating she did know about it. Jessica doesn't call Liz a teacher's pet in this scene. Mom calls Jessica to say auditions were moved up three hours. In the book, Madame Andre calls. Mom asks Jessica to bring Elizabeth's bag to auditions. Jessica considers sabotaging Elizabeth by pretending to forget the bag at home, but she decides to bring it, because she's a good person. In the book, Jessica's not a good person. Her sabotage is making no effort to tell Elizabeth about the time change, besides for writing an easily missed note that she is sure will not be found in time. The graphic novel removes the scene of all the girls gathering around Jessica to ask where Liz is. Twice, Stephen shows off his slime monster costume for Halloween, in the book, he shows off a robot costume, then a slime monster costume. Elizabeth says Jessica helped her with her jumps for the audition. She doesn't say that line in the book. Jessica does not help Elizabeth with audition jumps in either version, so I have no idea why this line exists. After talking on the phone with Amy about auditions, Elizabeth confronts Jessica over her lies. The twins fight, and Mom takes away Jessica's phone. In the book, none of this happens. Elizabeth just avoids Jessica. Madame Andre posts the cast list on a board. In the book, she reads the cast list out loud. In the graphic novel, Elizabeth does not suspect Jessica of stealing the ballet doll. Jessica is meaner when complaining about Elizabeth to her friends. In the book, she doesn't like hearing other people badmouth her twin, so she pretends not to care about ballet. The graphic novel adds a scene of Elizabeth confronting Jessica, when she learns Jessica spread nasty gossip about her. 
The graphic novel adds a scene where Elizabeth struggles to make the program, criticizes her own ballet skills, and overhears Jessica bad-mouthing her on the phone. The graphic novel removes the scene where Jessica calls Elizabeth's dancing terrible, and the parents have a talk with Jessica. The graphic novel removes the following scene where Elizabeth talks to Mom about Jessica. There is far more to the conversation between the twins after Jessica helps Elizabeth practice. In the book, Elizabeth gets sad on Jessica's behalf and cries. The graphic novel adds a two-page scene of ballet class, just before Amy and Elizabeth talk in the woods. The graphic novel adds a scene of the teacher complaining about her schedule to the receptionist. The graphic novel does not indicate which class is the dress rehearsal. The graphic novel adds a scene of Elizabeth asking for help from Jessica one more time, and they have some fun talking to each other. In the book, Elizabeth calls Amy and talks about her plan to fake an injury so Jessica can get the lead. The graphic novel cuts out the scene of Jessica throwing a fit because she hates her costume. The graphic novel adds a scene where the teacher confuses the two twins, everyone compliments Elizabeth, and Jessica leaves angrily. In both versions, Stephen teases Jessica, saying the real reason she's dropping out is because she's jealous. In the book, this is enough to convince her to go to the recital. In the graphic novel, Jessica's convinced to attend a recital after seeing Elizabeth's program. In the graphic novel, Elizabeth has a harder time convincing Jessica to take her place in the recital. In the graphic novel, Amy quickly figures out Elizabeth's injury is fake. In the book, Elizabeth told her about the fake injury ahead of time. The graphic novel adds a scene with no dialogue, where Jessica sees Elizabeth in the Coppelia doll costume, and she gets mad! It could be just me, but I think the teacher's apologies are nicer in the graphic novel. Neither version has her apologizing for playing favorites, though. In both versions, they see a taxi arrive at the Mercandy house. Only in the book do they see someone exit the taxi. The graphic novel includes a scene where Amy learns about cheerleader tryouts. That is, 47 changes. Jessica and Elizabeth are more confrontational in the graphic novel, while the parents play less of a role. The big changes are Elizabeth writing the program, the teacher's scheduling problems, and Elizabeth knowing about the change in audition times.